Punchboard Media, where we all bring something to the table. Pull up a chair at punchboardmedia.com. So more Origins 2019, and we're here with Breeze and talking about some expansions here. So what do we have going on here with Aegis? Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, Aegis is back again at another convention this year. Um, game just hit shelves earlier this year, and we're already moving through a lot of our first print run, which is very awesome. So we're uh, rinse and repeating in terms of uh, that. We are selling the game here, along with uh, some new content, which I'll talk about. Um, for those who don't know, Aegis is a 20-30 minute tactics game where you play with a team of five combining robots across five different types of robots, Assault, Evasive, Guard, Intel, Support, and it spells Aegis. And then uh, you move and shoot and stuff. Um, it's made to be a faster, more accessible, more affordable version of like a Battletech or War Machine. And uh, it has been popular, we keep getting good reviews, and I'm very happy about that. Um, but this year, this is our first time selling at Origins. Uh, we have three new things that I will go over. Uh, thing number one, we have a new convention promo, the Arrows Algelian Soul, which is uh, last year we had a convention promo that we offered for about 12 months starting at Gen Con and then going to here, and now this is the one that we'll be hawking for the next um, year worth of conventions. It adds a new five-letter robot to the game that uses one of the pieces that's already in the box, and the cool thing is that it has a really long and complicated name, but it can actually be made from any five robots. You don't need to match the names like you would normally have to do in the game. Because in, in the normal game, you would have to have an arrows, an L, a gel, an ion, and a sol. But in this one, you can make it out of anything. But if you choose to match the names, this guy can use the attacks of any pieces that match his names. So he's super freeform. You can use him with any commander on any team, but if you uh, do weird things with him, let's say you want to make him have just like and arrows and a gel, and then the other three guys don't really matter. Then he'll have arrows and gel attacks. And then he has the ability that lets him attack twice a turn, that overload ability. So you can mix and match attacks all across different robots. Okay. So he's like, he's very, he, he hits on all the notes where he wanted the five little robots to be standalone and interesting and make you feel really cool. Um, so this is, uh, this is neat. Anyone who demos the game here or at Gen Con or anyone who already owns the game is entitled to one of these or anyone who buys the game. So if you own the game or whatever and you see us places, um, buy one, just ask us for one. And uh, if you order stuff from our online store at robotstrategygame.com, we'll also package these in with your orders most of the time, assuming that we have them currently in print. Um, so that's the first thing, fancy promo card. The second thing is, Where'd my book go? Yay. So check this out. So uh, brand new and hot off the presses, we have the Aegis Companion Book, a, a thing that was promised on our Kickstarter back in 2017, uh, but it took me forever to finish it. However, it is the it is a companion book for uh, your Aegis game, where it's split into two parts. There is the first part that goes through the story of Aegis <laughs> across 20 scenario chapters. And each scenario gives you a board layout, some special rules and some special win conditions, and some teams to use. Um, so each one will play very differently. It's almost like one of those activity books that you get with like a box of Legos. Because as you can see, it just comes with like a lot of stuff in the box. And um, the scenarios are two, three, four, and six players. And they can, it's actually organized like that on the table of contents. So if you order the game, I mean, not if you order the game, if you have the game, you still have like three players that you want to do something weird with, you can find the three player scenarios or these two chapters and you can go open to a three player scenario and do stuff. Um, every scenario is very different. It gives a very different experience. Uh, this one, for example, Tandem Rogues. One player will play Diane. Another player will play Poppet, and Diane will try to stop Poppet from blowing up these towns represented by terrain pieces. So this one's like an asymmetric, uh, kind of almost a tower defense game. Uh, there's other ones that are much weirder. Uh, ones that like where your opponent will start with combined robots. One where you are trying to sneak through, and it's like a stealth mission. One where you're trying to blow up your opponent's commander specifically. One where you're trying to defend a certain part on the board. So yeah, as it goes through like the big cool story of like the Five Nations War of Aegis, and uh, so this is very neat. 
a lot of a lot of really good gameplay content mileage out of this book. It took a long time to design these and balance these and write all the lows, all the lore prose. It'll tell you what happens to all the characters in the epilogue. Uh, and then the other half of the book is the Aegis production book, uh, which is this is our production timeline. And then the last like 20 pages go over um, lore and character stuff, development stuff for across the six year development of the game. And uh, cool concept art, lots of unused art, um, uh, all the character lore across all the characters, how we design certain things gameplay wise and art wise. Uh, and it was a lot of fun to put together and go through the archives. Um, so this book is very cool. We only printed 100 to start with, and we only have like a couple left. <laughs> we're, like, we're like 39 left total. Uh, we have a handful of with us at Origins, um, and they will probably be decimated by the end of today or tomorrow. Uh, so this is cool. Also, the coolest thing about the book is that it fits inside of your Aegis box. So it'll go along with the meme of the box being really, really dense. So you can now get this and just put it straight up in your box. and It'll fit with everything else. Awesome. The last thing, which is something very, very, very exciting, is that one of our demos here at Origins this year, we are testing out the next box of Aegis content, which I can't talk about in great detail. But there is new Aegis robots afoot, and um, we are testing. We are using uh, one of our demos here at Origins to try uh, out the balance because at Gen Con, all of our events in the event hall are Aegis uh, prototype related. So we have like 12 events going on the event call from morning till night every day where people can sign up and most of them are actually sold out or close to sold out right now. But um, where we will be testing out all of the new Aegis content and then we'll be bringing uh, this to Kickstarter late this year or early next year or when it's done. It's going really well uh, so far. We don't have any new art for it, so all the art currently is just art from the first game, but there will be new robots, new mechanics, new pre-built teams, new strategies. Um, not just your mama's expansion, because this will be standalone. And we try to streamline a lot of the game. So the game will the goal with this new game, the goal with this new thing is to have it be easier to get into and to add more complex strategic play. So shaving off complexity at the start and putting in a little bit more complexity in the middle, as opposed to the current box of Aegis, which has a lot of stuff going on front loaded, and then the gameplay is for the most part pretty straightforward. Um, so we can put in some more interesting mechanics while making the cards simpler. So uh, we're listening to feedback. There might also be new game modes from player requests, but we're working through that. More new things. Um, Aegis will come again. <laughs> More Aegis. So awesome. So yeah, make sure you swing by the booth if you can get a hold of one of these uh, these books here. They're actually, they are they are really really cool. I'm very and excited then, about this. The, this thing was this thing was such a nightmare to put together, <laughs> and, but it came out very very good. Um, and uh, we'll have we'll probably also have these at Gen Con. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to do a second print run because they're just gonna die. Yeah, your stock is dwindling. I can see the. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we brought like ten to here, <laughs> so <laughs> it's like they're already like mostly gone. Um, but yeah, this is a great thing for if you own Aegis already. Uh, come by. We also have an ultimate bundle going on here at Origins too, so we'll just give you every single thing that we've ever made for a big lump sum. And uh, yeah. So very good. So yeah, make sure you swing by the booth, play test some stuff, or pick up the big base game if you don't already have it. Yeah, absolutely. Booth uh, 154 over here on the right. And then over at uh, Gen Con, which is likely when you'll be see before you'll be seeing this video. I can uh, also go up tomorrow. Oh, perfect. That's great. So, um, Well, yeah, then if, for, for everyone who sees it later, at Gen Con this year, we are grouped <laughs> together with fellow robot game Giga Robo. Um, so you can find us at, I forget our booth number, 2766. 2766, yeah. And we'll be, we'll have the robot pavilion. And uh, you'll be able to see cool stuff there. And, and all of your robot needs. Yeah, all of your robot needs met at 2766 over at, uh, over at Gen Gun. Hey, awesome, thank you so much. Perfect, thank you guys.